okay, I now finally have protection 4 on all of my armor. Which is good because that means I'm about as powerful as Sharpshaboom, who also has protection 4 on all of his armor. This is good because it means I can finally stand up to Sharpshaboom and prank him uh, without him instantly killing me, which is quite a nice thing, if you ask me. Um, so right here, I am planting big jungle trees around um, Sharpshaboom's house to annoy him and to um, get payment from him because I told him about uh, respawning the ender dragon and um, he did it and he got a bunch of dragon's breath when I originally had um, the monopoly on dragon's breath so I just wanted like a little payment for that I guess because he didn't know how to respawn it before I told him um, so yeah here the whole reason I'm planting this tree, these trees, um, is because I just kind of want to, I kind of want to annoy him. Before I move on to the next part of this video, I just want to say something. I was an idiot. I recorded every clip in this video with audio, but I forgot to turn on my mic. So the entire time, um, no audio was being recorded, which means I'll have to do a voiceover for this entire episode. Which I would not like to do, but I kind of have to. However, this is a good opportunity for voice distortion testing, which I still have to do because um, my voice is still being distorted. So right now, my voice is going to be distorted when I um, upload this to YouTube. It's not distorted while I'm um, editing, but when I, upload it, when I upload it to YouTube, it becomes distorted magically. Um, so, some of these clips in this video are going to be quiet, and that is because I just want to test to see if quiet clips, um, have any effects on voice distortion. Okay, now let's get to the good news. And, wow, my pranking was really worth it in the end, because, um, soon after I did the jungle tree prank, um, I got two diamond blocks from Sharpshaboom. So, um... That, that's, I was not expecting to, um, get two diamond blocks from him. I was expecting to get, like, maybe a diamond or two. Um, but, you know, I'll gladly take this, because, um, I need the diamonds to buy rockets from Sharp Shaboom's, um, barge, which I keep spending all my money at. Last episode, I said that, um, this episode would be mostly about pranking Sharp Shaboom. But since I already got my payment, um, I'm not really going to prank him anymore because there's no, there's no need right now. And now let's get to some more good news. So um, off camera, I found a pretty large jungle that was only about 1,500 blocks from World Spawn. So that is actually super convenient for me because um, I have, I'm have i starting to build a lot of jungle-themed builds in Tinkraft. And the reason why my screen looks weird right now is because um, I didn't want anybody to, any other members, to see the coordinates of this jungle because um, I, I want it to be my own, pretty much. Maybe people can pay for the coordinates, but I'm not going to just give them the coordinates for free to this jungle. The reason why this jungle was really good for me was because I built a new jungle parkour game. In this game, you have to do parkour from tree to tree and get a pretty decent prize at the end. This is actually pretty good if you ask me, especially since it has um, new 1.17 features, um, such as like a big drip leaf moss and azaleas which can be used to make uh, more plants of their kind however this prize would be super easy to get if i didn't um enforce some rules so for any members that want to try this parkour um i want to either watch you do the parkour um or i want to have a recording of you doing the parkour so you just don't fly up and grab the prize which um that would be total cheating 
and I do not want cheating. I don't want to have to give my prize to a cheater. But anyway, sorry that I didn't record myself building this. I think this would have been really hard for me to time lapse. But the interesting thing about this parkour is that it uses new 1.17 drip leaves, um, which are like revolutionary for parkour because if you stand on them for more than like two seconds, um, the drip leaf um, pretty much just drops you and it makes parkour much more challenging. I got my original drip leaf from a wandering trader, which is kind of a rare trade, which is why I am selling drip leaf as part of my new drip leaf deal, with, where you can buy one drip leaf for one diamond, but that allows you to produce um, an infinite amount of drip leaf. Sharp Shaboom has already bought from the drip leaf deal, and I hope other people will too. But anyway, let's get back to the parkour. So another rule for the parkour is that you cannot have like really anything on you besides for like um, some armor if it's not Elytra and um, like a sword if you want. Like things such as like Elytra, rockets, um, tridents, blocks, shears, but those are all like strictly forbidden and I'm probably gonna check people to see if they uh, have that stuff on them also this game may have several loopholes um, such as like vines growing on trees that might allow people to like get an unfair advantage um, I try preventing most of these like loopholes such as vines by um, putting string all over all the trees um, to, pre to prevent vines from growing but there might be still several ways to like get up a tree that you're not supposed to do so um, in this case I'm gonna have a uh, sharp shaboom play test my parkour to um, I don't know I guess make sure that there aren't really very many loopholes so when I originally recorded this video, I um, tried my parkour to see if like it's possible, and it turned out that um, I couldn't. It took me a lot of tries to um, do it. Um, for people, for the members um, who are trying this, this game is free, so you don't need to pay anything for like the tries. Um, but it's it's kind of the parkour is kind of challenging. I mean, it's not that hard, but it took me uh, several, or it took me quite a bit of tries to um, do it. I failed so much on my parkour that um, I stopped recording the audio for attempting it, um, but eventually I did um, finish it. So here's the clip where I actually complete my parkour. To start off this recording, I fail on this first part quite a bit, which is kind of sad because it's supposed to be the easiest part.
So that was my entire um, parkour game right there. Um, but anyway, not only am I using um, jungle trees for pranking and parkour, but I'm also growing a bunch of jungle trees around my house for decorative purposes. Um, I'm, I really like the jungle, and um, I think it looks really good. So I'm kind of just turning the area around my house into a miniature jungle. And I'm also growing some bamboo around my house. Okay, so this clip is intentionally quiet to um, test out voice distortion. Even if doing um, quiet clips um, prevents voice distortion, um, I still don't think I would use quiet clips in um, any of my videos because they're hard to hear, hence the name quiet. I want to acknowledge one more thing before I wrap up this episode, and it is that um, Sharp Shaboom um, has like really fixed up the shopping district because before it was not looking so good. But he like bone all the ground, fixed up all the roads, um, and made like these super nice custom trees, which I really really like. And there's one by the tavern here, and there's two by the entrance, and they're just super nice. And then there's also some more by the town hall. Um, so thank you, Sharp Shaboom, for fixing up our shopping district. Um, but I guess besides for that, um, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next Teamcraft episode coming out, um, and bye.